A bill, to, a proposal to make it illegal to purchase, sell, or possess bump stocks is one step closer to passing in the Denver City Council this week. Introduced by Councilman Raphael Espinoza, the proposal would also cover magazines with 15 rounds or more, and punishment can range from $100 to $999 and jail time of up of 10 to 180 days. Uh, David, you're clearly our gun expert. What do you make of what we're seeing at the Denver City Council? Well, I, I testified before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee back in December and said that a device that makes a normal gun fire as fast as a machine gun should be regulated the same as a machine gun. In f federal law and in, in Colorado, which is parasitic on that, uh, there's a very strict licensing and registration and tax system for machine guns. I think bump stocks should be brought into that. I don't, I don't think they should be banned. So I don't agree with this Denver proposal, but I will say to uh, Councilman Espinoza's credit, the definition of bump stock that is in that bill is a uh, good and accurate one, unlike uh, the, the federal bill by Senator Dianne Feinstein, which would ban many, many other things that have nothing to do with, with bump stocks. And on the, the magazine ban, obviously I, I don't agree with that either, but I would say the uh, the council has been making some progress in, in like the committee hearing la earlier this week about drafting that, that ban so it more accurately aligns uh, with state law rather than, than causing conflicts. Eric, is this a big deal for the Denver City Council to be proposing something like this? No, it's not surprising. You have a liberal city council in a liberal city and uh, tackling a liberal issue. Uh, so it's not surprising at all. Good for Councilman Espinosa. Good for them for tackling it. I, uh, you know, don't understand the gun issue, at least the legal piece of it, in any of the depth that David does. But I think you know David's point of that regulating bump stocks like uh, machine guns is basically something that, as one of the foremost gun advocates in the country, legal advocates in the country, that 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 even David Copel is embracing. So this is not completely. Um, completely novel ground. I, uh, good for the city council. I'd only note that, you know, the fines here are fairly modest. And if somebody really wants to shoot up a place, uh, somehow I don't think six months in jail or $999 is going to be exactly weighing on their mind. Ed, do you think other cities will take uh, Denver's lead in doing similar proposals? Uh, they may, but uh, you know, here's the one thing about Denver's proposal. It actually technically really does nothing. Uh, according to Denver's 1989 assault weapons ban, the weapons that you can attach a bump stock to are already illegal in Denver. So this is taking something and saying, hey, you can't do this, and now you can't attach this to something you can't already do. It, it's really a statement bill here. I think it may spawn other cities to do this, but in Denver, it's, it's not going to have much of an impact. Patty, all hat, no cattle? Well, it's still better than a cat declawing measure. I think <laughs> this is the kind of social issue that you can see there's a reason for city council to weigh in on, even if it really doesn't do much. And we certainly have talked enough about the ban back from, 80, from 89 that Denver does have a right to ban some things. It's the home rule issue in Colorado.